And welcome back. This morning, we've got a medical mystery that really sounds like it's straight out of a movie. A couple on the vacation of a lifetime. They both ended up in the hospital. One of them somehow contracted one of the deadliest superbugs in the world. But here's where it gets really crazy. They both happen to be researchers in infectious diseases, and that made all the difference. Craig and I recently had the chance to sit down and talk with them. In 2015, Stephanie Strathdee and her husband, Tom Patterson, conquered the biggest challenge of their lives, saving Tom from a deadly infection. There's no cases that we were aware of to treat a systemic superbug infection, and this was a first for the United States. That year, while on an Egyptian cruise, Tom thought he got food poisoning. We were about to see the Valley of the Kings the next day. We're up on the starlit deck having a meal. Soon after the meal, I got sick. I was getting very ill very quickly. Both Stephanie and Tom are medical researchers. Stephanie's focus is infectious disease, and she realized this was no ordinary illness. Tom was rushed to the local clinic and diagnosed with a gallstone blockage. He needed to be medevaced immediately. Two days later, the doctor came in and he stood a ways away from the bed and he said, this is the worst bacterium on the planet. Doctors said Tom had contracted a superbug that was resisting all antibiotics. Over time, the doctors basically said there's nothing else that we can do. Given only a few weeks left to live, Stephanie knew it was up to her to try to find a cure. The pain was so extreme, the hairs on my head hurt. She enlisted the help of the Navy, the FDA, and two universities to research phage therapy, an experimental 100-year-old remedy that uses viruses to kill bacteria. We're having Megan administer phage therapy. It's almost like you have a miniature Godzilla after a miniature King Kong, and this invisible warfare is happening between the two of them. Stephanie hoped the cocktail of phages would save Tom. It was an incredibly scary time, but I knew at the same time that we were making medical history and that if we lost him, that we would still be learning something from this that would help other people. Stephanie Strathdee and Tom Patterson are here and sharing their story in their new memoir, The Perfect Predator, a scientist's race to save her husband from a deadly superbug. Good morning, guys. Hi, thanks so much for having us. Well, I'm so happy you're here to tell this story because this, this is wild. You, of all people, study infectious disease. Tom is suffering from this bizarre infectious disease. I mean, when did you know it was more than just a stomach bug? Well, he was vomiting and just wouldn't stop. And then he started complaining about back pain, you know? It's like, well, that doesn't sound like food poisoning. And I Googled it, and it came up, pancreatitis. And I thought, well, I don't know if that's right or not, but we need to get a doctor right away. Mm -hmm. Tom, is it lost on you that, that if you were married to maybe literally any other woman, <laughs> there's a good chance you'd be dead? I'd say I chose wisely. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yes. Yes. It's absolutely. amazing. Well, I was in the right place at the right time. We're very privileged to work in a place where there are doctors who can take care of me, but I had a brilliant wife and I have family and friends that supported me from all over the world. Hmm. So when you were medevaced and you finally got the care that you needed, what did they find? Well, they <laughs> found that basically his superbug was resistant to all antibiotics, and there was nothing that modern medicine could do. So then what? Well, I did what anybody else would do. I Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> and I found that there was a 100-year-old forgotten cure called phage therapy. And I knew a little bit about what phages were because I studied microbiology way back in the day. Mm -hmm. Is it true that the phages that Tom needed can actually be found in, in sewage? Is that right? Mm. Absolutely, because wherever you find bacteria, you find what preys upon them. And these are viruses that attack bacteria. You are so ill that I'd imagine time is of the essence here. And there's not really that much time to explore this 100-year-old way of, of curing something. How did you do it all in a time period that saved Tom's life? I found researchers that were studying phages that attack his superbug. And I just wrote them and I said, please, can you help? I sent them a picture of Tom lying in a coma, and I said, um, could you help? And total strangers from around the world stepped up to the plate. They crowdsourced a cure. Absolutely. Tom, today, I mean, you, you look fine. You look healthy. H how do you feel? Are you back to 100%? I'm back 
I would say 100%. I'm back to work. We just got back from Costa Rica, bird watching, uh -huh. hiking. So, so this hasn't slowed you down? Well, you know, maybe a little bit, but mm. no, I would say not. Cognitively, I think I'm just as uh, impaired as I ever was. <laughs> <laughs> Regular people who might be watching this, what's, what's the takeaway? Well, I mean, I think sometimes when your back is up against the wall, ordinary people can do extraordinary things. Mm. And phages offer an alternative to antibiotics that need to be explored. And we're actually opening now the first dedicated phage therapy center in North America at UC San Diego called iPath. Mm -hmm. And anybody who has a superbug out there that's not responding to antibiotics, you can email us at ipath at ucsd.edu and we will help. We're a nonprofit, we're fundraising, and we're going to move this into clinical trials. So hopefully it can be scaled up and help other people around the world. Wow. That's amazing. I'm so glad you guys told this story. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm so happy you're doing well. Thank you very yes, much. I'm Keep glad traveling. you married this woman. Keep traveling. <laughs> Keep traveling. To learn more about Stephanie and Tom's story, you can go to today.com health.